hello so today we are going to teach you how you can add dynamic rows in your table for example like this i can add as many rows as i want and select these values and they all will be saved in database so here is our database i have named it tutorials we are going to need two tables the first name the first table name will be invoices it will have one auto incremented id which will, which will be primary key and i am adding customer name and second table will be named items it will have auto increment id which will be primary key and it will have invoice id which will be foreign key of invoices table and it can also have item name item quantity now in our index file we need to create a form set its method to post and action to the name of file where you want to send the data first we will create an input field for customer then we are going to create a table where dynamic rows will be created create a heading this will be the number of items and this will be the name of each item and quantity create a dbody tag and give it a unique id you are going to use this id in javascript to append multiple rows in it Create a button which when clicked will add a new row in this dbody tag. And a submit button which when clicked will submit the form. Now we need to create this javascript function which will append a new row in this dbody tag. Create an html for tr tag. and each td will have an input field this one will be item name and as this will be multiple so we are setting this as an array and same goes for item quantity to append this in tbody tag we first have to get it using its id Then call a function name insert row and call in our HTML is equal to this HTML value. The first column will be the number of items, so we are creating a variable for it. Initialize it with zero, and on each function call, we are just increment its value and displaying them as first td tag
now we need to save this data using php so first we have to check when the form is submitted first we are connecting with database then we are getting the customer name from this input field and we are going to insert it in invoices table Now we are going to need this invoice ID in our items table. So we are going to get this using MySQLI insert ID function. And to insert items, we are going to loop through all items. You can use any item array. You can use either item name or item quantity. The invoice ID will be same in all iterations while the item name and item quantity will be different. It will be different for each loop iteration. And at the end, you can simply display a message if you want. So we have both empty tables. I'm setting the customer name and I'm adding items Dell as 3 and another item HP as 5. So I'm going to submit it. So the customer has been added in invoices table and multiple items will be added in items table along with their item name, item quantity and the foreign key invoices ID.